Hello everyone, Carlos here again with a video on reflector lights. Now reflector lights are some of my favorite types of Christmas lights, even compared to like bubble lights and other types of lights that are available, vintage Christmas lighting. Uh, they're, because there are so many different types and, and I just love how the reflectors just bounce back the light into different ways. It looks really great when you're trying to do uh, vintage type trees. So I just wanted to talk today a little bit about uh, some of the types that you might run into and kind of determine and at least give you an idea as far as, well, how old is my reflector light set? And so I have three different types of reflector lights here on my table. I'm going to start with this one over here. Uh, this is a light set from, I would say, possibly 1950. 50s, mid 1950s, maybe early 1960s. Uh, this is a hardwired light set. Now, all of these lights here, first of all, they're a lot smaller compared to like one of these that we typically see in the 1970s. Uh, so super, super tiny. Uh, these were Italian lights now so Italy was like, like the first real place to uh, give us miniature lights before this you had C7s and before that you had C6s uh, those were the standard Christmas lighting of the day back in the 1920s and 30s and 40s and then after World War II uh, miniature lights started becoming popular so the first ones that, that came out were actually kind of a pain in the butt uh, because everything is hardwired. Now, what do I mean by, by hardwired? That means the light bulb is, the wires of the light bulb is actually directly wired into the electric strand. A typical miniature light bulb has two wires sticking out of the base to provide the electric current in and out of the light bulb. So it's not a screw in base like the old C7s and C6s. It is a, you put it in, you bend the wires to complete the circuit through a base. Now, the early Italian ones, as I was showing over here, these are hardwired. So these are actually bended into the wire to produce the light. Now, so if you wanted to actually re replace a bulb, you literally had to like open up this little sleeve here, push it down, expose the wiring, unravel the light bulb into the actual wire of the, of the strand, ravel it back up, insert it. It was a nightmare. And even to this day, I, I, I really try to, to, to touch hardwired lights. Um, they are something that 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 it gives even the most experienced uh christmas lighting enthusiast uh, a run for their money uh but these are really really nice especially some of these uh that are really tiny these are like really really tiny uh each one is maybe three eighths of an inch in diameter so i like using these lights uh smaller ones for the very very top of my Christmas tree. Uh, I do have a few strands of these uh, in my collection and uh, they do give off a really, really neat little uh, glow here. So these are hardwired again. These are probably made between 19, mid 1950s till early 1960s. Now what happens after that around 1960s, early 1960s, mid 1960s, we start moving on to these type of lights. Now, these are the probably one of the most common uh, types of vintage miniature lights that you're going to see. Uh, these are daisy reflectors, they, they kind of look like a daisy. And uh, these made it easier for you to switch out, switch out burnt out bulbs because no longer did you have to go and cut wires and unravel things like these sets. All you had to do was 
pull it out, take out the wiring from the base, and you can switch out your light bulb in a snap there. So these lights that have these reflector, these are called reflector base lamps. These last, these came around the mid 1960s, all the way into the late 1970s, even to the early 1980s. So that's how you could tell from what time period you could have these lights. Now, if you want to be even more specific, if you want to see, okay, are these from the 1960s or 1970s, how can I tell? Uh, one way you can do that, if you still have the box uh, of the lights, if you see anywhere in the box, no well. Okay, so it says this set manufactured strictly in accordance with the well safety standard. This was a safety standard in conjunction with the underwriter laboratories on making sure that these light sets were safe for use at home. Now, the Noel standard did not really come about till about the early 1970s, 1972, 1973. You started seeing these being printed onto various different boxes. Okay, so if you have a box set and you see the symbol there, you're looking at 1970-ish all the way till about 1984-1985. So if you don't see this, you might have a strand that's possibly in the 1960s. Most of the night light strands that you're going to see from the 1970s and the early 1980s will have this Noel standard if it is a push-in reflective base such as this. Now, there got to be a point in time where uh, the underwriter laboratories made stricter rulings on how Christmas lights should be followed, the standards that they need to follow, and that Noel safety standard could not keep up with their demands. So underwriter laboratories kind of took over and stated that all Christmas lights cannot be made with these reflector bases. You must use a reflector cap. So from about 19, mid 1980s onwards to present day, if you see reflector lights that are a cap meaning that this reflector actually slips on and slips off, then you're working pretty much with uh, late 1980s to 1990s, even 2000s uh, light strand. So the way these work is that you were to slip off the reflector and then the light bulb would actually be in its own plastic housing socket here, which will fit into the electric socket to plug in. And then all you had to do is was return the cap onto the light strand there. So again, light caps, 1984 and 85 and onward. Hopefully this video has uh, given you some information as far as kind of talking about the different types of reflectors you are going to see. Uh, now, one type that I did not mention that uh, came around the same time as the hardwired sets were sets like these that did have miniature screw in uh, bulbs. There are not many of those around, unfortunately, but they do exist. Those are going to be around the same time period in between like the 1950s all the way to the early 1960s. You're not going to screw in miniature bulbs did not last much past the 1960s there. So hardwired came in first. 
and they come they did come in different types of reflectors you might see tulips daisies some other types then you got the push in reflector bases from the 1960s and 70s early 1980s and then you got reflector caps from about the mid 1980s till present day thank you for watching this video if you have any questions please let me know thank you